Hello everyone, welcome back to Magic the Gathering Arena, playing Quick Draft Dominaria United. What is this? Oh, a Mind Singer. This is a powerful card that I don't think I ever got much use out of. Probably what I'm supposed to pick here, but Aaron's also quite good, sometimes. Uh, nothing else here. I mean, I don't know, actually, Extinguish the Light is not horrible. Tribute to Urborg is decent. I mean, Extinguish the Light is not just not horrible, it's good. Um, it's less committal than either of these cards, but it's not as powerful in principle. I don't think I like opening with Aaron. It's just like, you need to be in the right deck for him to be good. And even so, he's vulnerable to removal. Like, yes, in most black-white decks, you'll be happy to have him. But, I don't know. Triple pip pick one is pretty rough. Um... The Mind Singer is certainly fun. I don't know. I don't think I really play Grixis very much. I might just take Extinguish the Light here. It's only a double pip card, but it fits in any black deck. Um, it would be hard to splash because of the double pip, but. Uh, uh, what else is there here in this pack? I mean, the only black card is Battlefly Swarm, which we're obviously not picking. Zaro Janon? I mean, I, it seems like it should be good, but it almost never is. I think it's Destroy Evil here. It's a solid card. Don't think I want a Tura. Could take a blue card here, or a Necromass. Eh, Necromass is pretty solid, I guess, and we have some reason to want to be in blue. Black, I mean. I guess we could take the blue-black land. Hmm. Hmm. Well. It does keep my options sort of open, doesn't it? I don't know, there's two kind of premium creatures here. I don't think it's right to take a land. I'm going to go with this one. Well, there's not that much here, right? I mean, Citizen's Arrest is fine. I'd be happy to take it, but Black-White is not exactly starving for removal. I think I should just take the Marsh, basically, right? Rona is whatever. And, like, both of these are partially on color. And sometimes I wonder, like... You know, let's say we think the deck is probably going to have enough black and white sources. Should we take this to firm up the black and white further, or should we take this to, like, make it easier to splash blue? And I think the answer is, like, you should just firm up the colors you have, right? Because if you take this, you can throw in an island and have the same color distribution as if you'd taken this and put in a swamp, right? But if you take this, you could, like, throw in a mountain instead if you need to, if you want to splash something other than blue. So I, I think, I think the on-color duels are just better than off-color duels. Am I, am I wrong on this? I don't know. Please, please write in. Um, Sentinel, I think, is the pick here. You never know. Uh, we could easily end up with a Chaplain Defenders kind of deck. And nothing else here is much good. I could take the land or the thing that looks for lands. Um, but the Sentinel is the kind of card that can win the game if you get the right card or two with it. Uh, it, it can make or break a deck to have a few of those in there. And I wasn't missing out anything huge. I mean, Resolute Reinforcements is really good. I just, yeah, I think I'm supposed to take that. We'll get plenty of Necromasses, probably. I didn't have trouble drafting them last time. I will take a Citizen's Arrest now, I think. Splatter Goblin's okay. Red Black Land's okay. Don't really want Restoration. Even in Black White, it's just like, why? Why? 
Told you we'd have plenty of chances to take Necromasses. A lot of blue here, but Necromass pick 8 is good news. Means nobody's really trying to play this deck. All right, Phalanx. Black-white likes tokens. Every white deck likes tokens. Uh, espionage for sure. Impulse for sure. Phalanx over Negate. Apparition, not my favorite card by any means, but could be playable. No, 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 no. All right, what do we actually want? Bone Splinters? Pretty bad pack. Could take a stall for time. Don't think I will. Have any clerics yet? Nope. Black white land or another sentinel? Or an artillery blast, I guess. I mean, we don't have a lot of reasons to splash anything yet, but if I take the black white land, I'm more open to those opportunities. I guess there's also the Viv Sector. We could use a two drop. I, I just didn't see this the first time through. Hmm. Probably the sleeper, right? It's really annoying to play against these when the red when the white black deck can actually make tokens. I can't yet. I mean I don't know. I have resolute reinforcements. And we'll try to get more things like that. Take up the shield, definitely a better card, but in specifically black-white, this is a pretty good card. Another Destroy Evil, I think. Herbalist's fine. Battle Battlefly, actually, seems better. Now we can take, take up the shield, I think, over a third Destroy Evil. Heroic Charge is fine in every white deck. Every white deck wants one, that's my opinion. You don't always want two, and even if you don't have red, it's still, like, pretty cool. I'll take an Artillery Blast over third Destroy Evil, diversify a little. Okay, maybe sideboard that Heroic Charge, but who knows? If we get enough tokens, it could be, it could be in. What the hell is this? I can't switch now, but who is passing Tatiova 10th pick? Come on, get real, guys. Oh, you know, I should have thought about that red-black card. I didn't even think about it, but we have a little bit of fixing. We could maybe run red. Atrocity is okay. Connoisseur. I guess it's Connoisseur, huh? Man, we just have nothing that black-white wants to do. Very few tiny creatures. I could take Mesa Cavalier to fill in my three slot. Yeah, this sucks, actually. Give me a Mesa Cavalier. Wrath. No way. We take Phyrexian Rager all day long here. Knight of Dawn's Light. Incredible card. Splatter Goblin seems fine. Missionaries. Incredible. This has been a great pack three. Speaking of which, what the hell? Um, actually, what about that grotto? Because we have a couple cards. Like, it would be nice maybe to have a little bit of red mana, right? Don't I have something else that wants weird kicking colors, maybe? Or something in my sideboard that I wish I could play? I don't know. Phyrexian espionage. So not really is the answer. But what, like, am I going to take any of this stuff either? I could take a griffin protector. Don't really want to. Okay, the Sentinel's clearly gone. Wish I had the, taken the land instead of it, but, you know, it was a gamble, and it didn't pay off, and we knew that at the time. I mean, we really do not need three Destroy Evils, and I don't think Bone Splinters is looking good. We don't have enough... An Artillery Blast is just going to do, like, what, three damage, is it? Yeah. I don't think it's very good either. Vanguard? I'm never impressed with Vanguard. Is 
The rest of this seems okay. I mean, the sleeper and the heroic charge. Actually, I don't like that version that much either, but having a couple of them is a way to win. The sleeper and the heroic charge and the phalanxes, phalanxes are both basically just counting on me getting tokens from resolute reinforcement and nothing else, which sucks. Well, okay, also, Splatter Goblin doesn't mind being sacrificed necessarily. But. Adding another card that's like, hey, it would be nice if you made a lot of tokens. I don't know, it doesn't seem that great. I'm just going to take a, a land here. Knight of Dawn's Light again. That's really incredible. I've already cut a Bone Splinters. I guess I'll cut a Relic of Legends now, or sideboard it. I think destroy. I'm oh, sorry. I think the the heroic charge that we have in this deck is probably not much good. Although actually, with Knight of Dawn's Light, it's kind of great. You can attack with like. You can buff several things with this. I don't know. It's probably bad. Yeah, get out of here. You too. I'm not running four Destroy Evils, but I'm also not running three Heroic Charges. Captain's Call. How did I miss this last time through? Oh, there was probably a Knight of Dawn's Light, and so I didn't even look. Great card. So good. This is fine. Do I have any other draw in here? Missionary adds cards to your hand. Rager is draw. So the answer is no, not much. This could be fine, then. Huh. I mean... As a thing to spend seven mana on, or often four, of course. But, like, picking it back up a Knight of Dawn's Light, it's pretty cool. Picking back up a Necromass and gaining seven life, also kind of incredible. I don't know, maybe I want this. Probably not. So even with just one Captain's Call, I think Heroic Charge gets a lot more appealing. But we have stuff like Benelish Sleeper and... Um, where did it go? Something else wants those, doesn't it? I guess I cut them all. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Bone Splinters, I guess. There's a lot of demand for these three tokens, basically. Well, for starters, we cut a land. We pretty much always cut a land. 16 is a better default than 17, the way that Arena shuffles. And I just don't think the drawbridge is that good, but it is like... No, I think it's just bad. Okay, got it. Do I have the best two drops I could have? I think so. This is the one I'm most like, eh, could we put this back in somehow? We cut a Tattered Apparition. Also, the Heroic Charge is one that I'm like, could we put this back in? I think that would be pretty strong, but... Even without Trample, it's fine. And we can occasionally kick it with Trample. I just don't think it's very good. The Tattered Apparition I just don't like very much. Mace Cavalier I think is fine. Let's just run this. 
basic ores off. No weird, no funny business. No off-color splashes. I'm just running the grotto as a scry land, figuring I'll always have whatever colors I need, so I might as well get a scry once in a while. Sure. On the draw, with Shadow Prophecy in hand, I can hope to get enough lands to play this hand. Don't like this opening, obviously. Don't like that either. I mean, that's something. Oh, shoot. I should have just... Well, no. Hmm. If I had played this, I wouldn't have had to discard. But it's actually quite nice to have this as a surprise, I feel like. Because it actually gets to kill their sleeper, right? Why did they play this pre-combat? I'm just... Uh, no, I'm not trading for everything here. I have to take up the shield. And, plus, I also have the phalanx. Yes, keep all lands. Even tap lands are good here. All right. I mean, I do have a way to kill that. Although, not necessarily this turn. Oh, I forgot that in lists. That's really bad. All right, I guess I quit. I think if I'd been, if I'd had a third land, I would have been okay that game. Although probably not good. Like playing the Rager on three is is pretty cool to get the, trades into their three one and draws a card. Could have mulliganed, obviously, but it was a promising hand. Player one, I think you have to mulligan that. Player two seems fine. Arcanist. Omni or Arcanist? This is another really questionable one. I mean, this all does nothing. All right. Can't play a lot of creatures anytime soon, huh? I feel like the deck has a lot of twos in it, right? And we're just, like, not drawing them? Well, we had Resolute Reinforcements last game. And that game we didn't have enough mana to play anything else. That's it? Just activate Blight Pile this turn? That's great. Oh, they don't even have a third land. Well, it might be in good shape here. Weird colors, by the way, for a Blight Pile. The Walls deck usually wants to include white, and it doesn't want to have too many colors. So it's weird that they would have these three.
Are they not activating Blight Pile? Am I crazy? Well, it costs three, I see. I thought it cost two. It's two to play, three to activate, right? I remember now. These two. I choose these two. Surprising no one. If I draw a land, I can play Destroy Evil. Oh, sorry. Captain's Call and the Phalanx on the same turn, which would be nice. Everything but red already. And they have red mana, of course. But they don't have a mountain. No land. All right, well. Guess we just swing in and make three one ones. Boy, is my deck really this white? Should I be mixing in my lands a little differently? not going to destroy evil that. really do not care at all about it. I mean, I, I, I care a little. Um, it's kind of sad. If I play this, I can't really do anything else this turn. Mm. I could hold up destroy evil, I guess. But a 4-4 doesn't do anything at the moment, so I think I'm going to play the 2-2 flyer instead. Uses my mana more efficiently, develops a flyer. They could counter this with essence scatter. Not much I can do about it. I could play something else, but this is the creature that I want, so that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I guess I do care a little about their Academy Wall because of Blight Pile. That's true. Still, I'm winning the race at the moment. Also, by the way, wouldn't Heroic Charge be pretty cool here? I don't have any in the deck, but... And of course the answer is yes. Captain's Call is the only reason to put... Heroic Charge in the deck, and since we drew Captain's Call this game, Heroic Charge looks kind of cool. That doesn't necessarily mean we should actually put it in the deck. And even at that, it wouldn't be that great. Okay. Well, we have to extinguish that, right? They could negate this, if, or shore it up. Again, not a lot I can do about it. I guess I could... Citizen's Arrest instead. Is there a difference? I think they're more likely to have Herbal Greed Possession than Destroy Evil. So I guess Citizen's Arrest is a bit better. Attack first, I guess. No reason not to have the mana available during the combat phase, in case that matters for some reason. I guess there's also, though, like... If I play Extinguish the Light, it uses my mana a little bit more efficiently right now. It might be easier to squeeze Citizen's Arrest in on a turn with something else in the future. Right now it doesn't look that way, because I don't have very many white pips available. Planes, very much white mana. Yeah, let's arrest Tatyova, I guess. Yep, 
not too surprised to see that. But we have more removal. Also, this removal is instant speed, which matters a little. If they make a land a flyer and then attack with it, we could conceivably, like, destroy Tatiova during combat. It's not likely to happen because I'm going to want to kill Tatiova as fast as possible. Okay, here comes the chaplain. Yeah. That is a problem. Okay. Oops. Not sure what they were trying to get by doing that. I guess it did actually, it cost me the, the ability to play Phalanx here, huh? Um, shouldn't have traded the 1-1, one, one, maybe. Let's extinguish Tatiova, I think. And then we'll just have to find something to do with the Chaplain eventually. I mean, the thing is, Chaplain is not the only card that's killing me right now. The Blight Pile is a problem. I mean, I'm going to just let that hit me so that I don't pay a big penalty for the Phalanx. Okay. If they have, like, shore up or something to save the birds, I don't know. Okay, that's something I can destroy evil, at least. So... If I'm destroying evil over there... I'd like to play this. I guess I can play Resolute Reinforcements, but it does tap me out. And I have to main phase it as well. Would it be best to play nothing? So I can hold up Destroy Evil and also Resolute Reinforcements? Or take up the shield or something? They still don't have any mountains. This is only scrying, not drawing, but it's still pretty good. I think I just play nothing. Take up the shield here. Destroy evil here. Yeah. Actually, they might not block, they might not attack because this threatens to double pump and just kill Niall if I'm willing to take all the other damage. On the other hand, I think it would be quite reasonable for them to swing with everything to overwhelm my defenders. Or, I mean, at least all this stuff. Okay. Oh, I forgot to block one of these. Oh my god. I mean, it might be right not to block, because they were planning some pump spell, but I should have done it on purpose. I 
I assume they're playing another wall here, because otherwise, why did they... Oh, wow. Okay. Why did they attack with all the birds, is what I was going to say. I can clock them for, like, a billion here, right? Three plus five is eight. How much damage are they doing to me? About eight as well. So we're going to have to be fast. And they can just hold birds back as defenders. So their clock is... Their clock against me is a little bit more... Sorry, why is there nothing under the citizen's arrest? Oh, because they shored up Tatiova, right. Uh, I mean, I think I have to do this, yeah? Activate once. And am I playing the missionary? Maybe I should have played it instead of the resolute reinforcements. I had this idea of overwhelming the blockers, but I don't actually have enough attackers. And a 4-4 doesn't do that much. I don't know. I think maybe playing missionary as just a lifelinker was more important. Yikes! Well, they don't have enough white mana to activate that right now. Also, they should have activated Codex first, I'm fairly sure. Actually, if they activate Wrath, which, remember, right now they can't do, but if they did, I could then destroy Evil the Blight Pile and really improve my tactical situation, huh? Hmm. Now, if I do this, I die, right? Actually, I'm pretty close to dying regardless. They activate the Blight Pile. Hmm. Well, on the other hand, both of these... No, this one they don't have to block if they don't want to. So I can hold it back. Attacking it with it is not useful. This one they have to block, and I threaten to blow up all their birds if they do. So that's kind of cool. If they, if they try to, like, multi-block, I can kill all the birds. So they're just going to block with one bird. And then they can hit me for four, and then four, and then three. Except they can also raff. So what am I supposed to do about that? I guess not attack as well? This sucks. But then I just die of the Blight Pile, right? So I'm not really sure what I'm accomplishing here. Pick up the Rager and do nothing with it. I guess just play this? But now when they attack... Oh. Now when they attack and pump all... With all attack with all the birds and pump them... I'm dead anyway, I guess, right? Yeah. I have to let in two birds, and they're going to be size four. Size two each. I'm, I'm taking eight damage. There's nothing I can do. Well, so I should have played the Missionary on the previous turn, and then I could have at least attacked with it to gain two life. Sorry, I'm at four? Oh, no, yeah, this is killing me. Right.
Ah, uh, them birds. I don't know. Is it possible I wasn't supposed to kill Tatyova? I don't think so. Like, yes, their deck clearly has Chaplin in it. But Tatyova is already a problem. I don't know. I probably just drafted wrong by, like, taking the colors that were offered to me instead of waiting for Tatyova and and uh, Nael. Because the bots always pass those. This is fine. It's not good. I have gotten some tough early draws in this draft, I feel like. I mean, I, I'm running 16 lands, but I'm not running 5. Fine. Take up the shield. I shouldn't say auto-pass, actually. What if they play something with 4 toughness? Well, I'll, I'll have the chance to... turn off auto pass before I click resolve in that case I guess if I, that's what I usually forget to do Whoa, it's a tough one guys makes me wonder why I play magic what is the point All right, I mean, I might as well, right? This isn't getting any easier to cast. And apparently they're a walls deck. So getting a wall off the board is nice, I guess. Yeah, did you know there are three of these in the deck, by the way? First time seeing any of them. Just, just thought I'd mention that. I had that deck sort of recently the blue-white flyers deck with one Knight of Dawn's Light, and it was just there every game. This deck has three of them, and I can't draw them to save my life. I mean, I did just draw one now, obviously. Mm-hmm. Well, this fucking 4-2 is ruining my life. Captain's Call first, I think? I don't really have a way to kill this anytime soon. So I guess I let it in for five and then chump later. Oh, I can't chump. They'll drawbridge me. I see. I'm not really convinced that they should have tapped there. I don't know, but... I mean, this is game over, right? What am I supposed to do? If I don't have another flying blocker, they're just going to tap the one I have. If I have another flying blocker, they're just going to attack with a bunch of stuff and I'll die. This might keep... This should keep me alive another turn. Because they blundered, I think. I don't know. Maybe they didn't have enough mana to actually pump this enough times and also tap down all my blockers for this turn. Wrong one. You should tap down the 2-1. So that I have to lose the more valuable creature, obviously. They can't have a trample trick.
And again, if I don't play a flying blocker, I die this turn, so I have to play a flying blocker. And then it's just gonna, like, the situation continues, continues to escalate and get worse. I've clearly lost, but until they have lethal on board, I guess I'm sticking around for a bit. Nobody runs these, by the way. What the heck is this doing here? Well, we might as well make him spend a card, eh? They didn't do it? It's kind of a shocker. You'd rather have this than... <laughs> My opponent is a complete donkey! And I'm getting demolished! If I had a little bit of life to play with, I might be okay here. But they can just tap down my flyer and kill me. Like, I guess what I had to do to live... No, I mean, I could take up the shield on this, swing, and get in a little damage. But that wouldn't be enough life, right? I'd just be at four, they would still kill me. <sighs> Alright, I mean, that was a pretty frustrating draft. I, I don't think this was a bad deck. It had apparitions, those are bad cards, but I actually feel like they were kind of what I needed in this deck. Maybe that's because the deck had some problems, I think that's true. But like, three Night of Dawn's Lights, plenty of two drops I never saw a single time. You know, 16 lands, oh I did forget to adjust whether I had more black or white, but actually the deck is pretty evenly split. 16 lands, a totally reasonable number for this deck. It just, like, never worked. I drew all my heavy stuff and no lands every game. Sad times. Hope you guys enjoyed more than I did. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.